guys and welcome to my channel let's talk about Jennifer Jennifer Rothwell before she was killed Missouri woman searched what to do if your husband is upset you are pregnant she searched that on her phone so she obviously felt that way a Missouri woman who police alleged was murdered by her husband was six weeks pregnant at the time of the killing according to newly unsealed case documents before her death Jennifer also used her phone to search Google for what to do if your husband is upset you are pregnant. Search warrants obtained by people confirm. The search warrants first reported by the St. Louis Post Dispatch further indicate that evidence obtained by the police contradicts several statements they made by Bo. Rothwell, the 20-year-old woman's husband. Also, he is charged with Jennifer's murder. He remains in police custody without bond and is due before the judge for a hearing on January the 27th, 2020. Jennifer's body was found in mid-November, dumped along a highway, Lincoln County. Her husband had reported her missing days earlier and was arrested after the police found blood and bleach soaked carpeting in the couple's suburban home. The husband, investigators allege, led them to Jennifer's body after eventually cooperating with the detectives. So, it didn't take him long to break, did it? He led them to her remains. Jennifer was reported missing in November the 12th. Newly unsealed search warrants revealed that on November the 11th, Two days before his arrest, he drove through a heavy snowstorm to purchase rubber gloves and cleaning supplies at a nearby grocery store. However, authorities note in the documents, Rothwell allegedly told police he had spent the entire evening at home with his wife. Rothwell told officers he last saw his wife at 6.20 a.m. at their home when she reportedly left for work. According to the search warrants, minutes later, he missed four phone calls from her. Four. Her phone was found inside her car, which had been abandoned on the side of a nearby roadway. Warrants further details that detectives called a strong odor of bleach emanating from the bed of Rothwell's pickup truck. Ugh, look at him. Yuck. The documents also revealed that the police recovered blood and hair evidence from the basement of the couple's residence. searches of his home also turn up wet 
carpeting that was soaked in bleach. Authorities allege both the carpeting and the padding underneath were stained with blood. DNA samples from Jennifer's parents matched the blood found at the home where the alleged killing of his wife happened. The couple had married in 2015. Rothwell has not appeared in court to enter a formal plea to the murder and evidence tampering charges against him. Efforts to reach his attorney for comment were unsuccessful. Also, somebody close to them said that he was having an affair. Autopsy reveals that Jennifer, who was 28 years old and was six weeks pregnant, that she had died from blunt force injuries to her head, but the final cause of death has not yet been determined. And reports that detectives uncovered text messages that suggest Roswell was having an affair and I don't know if she knew it or she thought something was going on in her marriage but looks like he didn't want that baby and he didn't want his wife no more allegedly and And after, like I said, on November the 13th, he was seen on a video purchasing the cleaning supplies. And on November the 18th, Roswell and his attorneys gave investigators information which led them to search a stretch of Highway 61 in Lincoln County. And that's where they found her body late that night. And his attorney is called Charles. Charles. Also in the search, the, um, the cops found items in the trash can outside the home on November the 13th as well as some store receipts, which match the items bought on surveillance from the store. These purchases was oddly at a time during a major snowstorm event involving dangerous driving conditions. So he was really desperate to go get these rubber gloves bleach, paper towels, and whatever else in a snowstorm. Dangerous driving conditions. But he still ventured out because it was very important that he gets these items that you could do without normally. And Rothwell was charged on November the 14th. So, and like I said, blunt force trauma to the head. So she got some wax on the head. You know, so severe it killed her. And he is charged with a second degree murder and tampering with evidence and he is being held without bond. So guys, this is another case we'll follow and his next hearing is on January the 27th 
2020. So we got another, you know, month and a half to see if formal charges are going to stick. Well, he led them to her body. He's got blood in the home. He's seen on video. He's having an affair. He's he's a liar. And she was pregnant. He didn't want the baby. They were married in 2015. And he obviously didn't want no children. Because now she's pregnant. I don't know if he can be charged with the baby's murder, but because, you know, she's only six weeks old. You know how the law is. But this is how this one is playing out. So guys, let's have a little chat on this one. What do you think? Um, well, like I said, this is my opinion, but it looks like, it don't look like it. He did it. So, he did it for selfish reasons, once again. Selfish reasons. Uh, he wanted his cake and ate it too. And now his poor wife is dead at the hands of him. He didn't want to support a child. and He didn't want to pay child support. And he probably didn't like her that much neither so I'm gonna be following this case and see where he lands oh, well you know he's gonna land in prison for a very very long time that's my opinion uh, but you know innocent and to proven guilty I'll talk to you later guys and thanks for stopping by and don't forget to like and sub to my channel if you have not see you next time